Manchester. We're gonna let her finish touching her Pokemon really quick. <laughs> I have third day con voice, so if I sound like I smoked a pack of cigarettes, I apologize. <laughs> Someday. Um, if you guys have questions, I'm going to ask you to line up along this wall and be nice. But I know what we're doing. Please don't be a few people. Just a few people. No, I don't need to line up with just a few people. Yeah, of course. but you are going to be front and center, so no nerves. No, no pressure. <laughs> oh, wow. No nerves. <laughs> but plenty of nerves. <laughs> no nerves. Are you ready to ask your question? Are you ready to hear her Sounds question? Sounds like a Are you ready for this roller? I'm ready. All right. Ready? It's like a lens this Um, what is one attribute of Pigeon's personality that you wish she showed more to the other paladins? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I um, sometimes I, I do think that it can be hard for the other paladins to remember how much she actually loves and needs them, because they all love her as evidence all the time in the show. Um, because they know it, but she doesn't always show it the same way that they do. So maybe sometimes she can be a little bit softer with Lance, but <laughs> then again, what's the fun? That's how she shows her love to him. <laughs> oh, also, Andy Bursack from Black Veil Brides is my hero, so. Oh. <laughs> Other than the show and stuff. 
Is there any situation that you guys have been like maybe you went to a bar or you went to a restaurant and you feel like this would be so good if it was in the show? So many times. <laughs> Every single time. And like there are a lot of times, such as last night, we went out to dinner. We were just sitting there talking about the show and talking about our characters and like they would totally do this, they would totally do that. We should see this. We had an entire conversation about Pigeon Lance <laughs> and how they interact. Fame romance. Fame romance, right? They are pro TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like plants. I like um so the ship name is plants because water your plants, but oh, my God. Yes. Will forever be pants. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I know way too much about all the <laughs> 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 Hi. Um, Hi. First, I'd like to just say that uh, with um, Pidge was my kind of entry into like liking the new Voltron show. Um, famously, like years ago, I had bought all of the original Voltron, watched two episodes, and couldn't last. Um, so my question is, um, is there any other older franchise that you'd like to um, save? Uh, <laughs> so many. So many. There were so many good shows in the old days that would be really fun to revamp now and kind of bring to the way the world is now. It would be really, really fun. Um, and... Oh man, my brain, my my brain just went blank. <laughs> um, completely blank. I have too many floating room heads. Saved by the bell. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm just saying. Answer. We're doing that. Oh, that's some of the drawing for you. Really? <laughs> it's Macklemore. <laughs> But the back kind of explains it. Thank you for the non-binary representation. Especially for people coming up, it's going to mean the world to them as it does me. So thank you very much. Come on. 
It's great. Yeah. Okay. A little bit, a little bit, you know, a little bit elevated, a little bit special, but very similar. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> um, hi, I'm really nervous. Um, I'm really nervous, I'm back. <laughs> but you set me up for that one. <laughs> um, so first off, I just, um, just want to say thank you for being such an inspiration to me and just getting me through hard times. Thank you so much for that. And um, my question is, if you were in the Voltron universe, what part of the coalition do you think you would play? Rebel forces. For sure. I'd, I'd be a rebel fighter. All the way. I'd join that. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. My pleasure. Honestly, I'd probably be that furry little beast that goes, What the rubble is that? <laughs> Just because I want to say rubble. Hi. Your wig is awesome. Thank you. I'm going to make me nervous. No, wait. Okay. You can do it. <laughs> Either yellow or black. 
because she's maybe not quite as sturdy as Hunk, but she's she's got that power in her somewhere. And um, gotta stick with the left side. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got she's got a lot more growing to do. She's still only 15, 16 years old, so of course she's got time before she can be a full-on leader of Voltron, but. Again, she's totally got her it in her. She's totally got it in her there somewhere. <laughs> English, that's a thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Amazing. Sorry, so many emotions. You're just an absolute icon for the LGBT community, and I absolutely love that. And so, um, what was one of your favorite voice lines to do as a kid? Crispy short arms. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, can I also get a hug? Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks because I entered Masters in Cosplay as Nekalar and I was so nervous and then I met you and you made me feel so much more confident about my cosplay and about like how I was representing kind of Voltron there and I got second in my division. Colleen Holt is my Shiro, and always will be. She is the most powerful woman in Voltron, aside from Alora. Can I have a hug? Absolutely. this for Arrow, but my headcanon is always, she's not trying to figure out what the heck happened to, to Sarah. Like, Sarah disappeared, Roy disappeared, and she went off on a confinement. She still hasn't quite figured it out. I mean, she's on a hunt. She could, she could end up in any area of, the, of that entire universe. Yeah, her two <laughs> are endless. Thank you. My pleasure. Alright, so first, 
Shiro as a lemon tart. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. We were and talking at dinner. I was like, I saw on Twitter. It's such a statement. Um, <laughs> Is, if pitches would cosplay anyone, who would pitch cosplay as a sort of convention? Mechlegar. Other, <laughs> other than a Voltron character. Other than a Voltron character, Pidge would probably go with um, Deku from My Hero Academia. Oh, yeah. I think they put like that temporary green there because there are these new like palettes that you can just color your hair green for a day with this wax and stuff. You should probably use that. I I might have to make you guys come back here though. Right. Just because I'm lazy. <laughs> that at first, I was like, oh, I think it's cool. Then I checked voice actors, learned about you, and it was like, oh, this is one of the best human beings in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really shaking right now. Okay, um, anyway, uh, my question was, who is your least favorite character in Voltron? Oh. Suddenly, this frame of Matt 
-hmm. with the rebellion, mm -hmm. and <laughs> somebody else <laughs> can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, so my actual question is, uh, I've been asking all the you course actors what their headcanons are for their characters, and I was wondering if you had any, like, headcanons for Paige, maybe, like, growing up, or just, like, things that aren't really in the show, but you think is, like, a really big part of who she is. Um, I have a lot of headcanons, and I'm trying to figure out which ones that I have uh, that are based on scripts and which ones that I have that are... It, it doesn't even have to be based on script, because I heard the headcanon from uh, Kimberly about, like, Karen being, like, uh, with Alphor and the like, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, <laughs> Karen totally has a yeah, 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 yeah. Even if it was unreciprocated, Karen has totally yeah. always been in So it's like, Karen, Karen, the gorgeous man. So I was just like, do you have any crazy headcanon? It doesn't have to be based off script, just like something that you think is related to pitch that you think would be, you know. <laughs> oh, I have a lot of headcanons. Yeah. <laughs> Narrow it down to pitch. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I've always kind of headcanoned pitch as um, asexual and non binary. So I, I kind of love like the thought of maybe some days she wakes up and she's like, no, you guys can call me your bro today, and then just kind of switching it up. Thank you so much. Of course. Just a, rem a reminder that that is not canon, that is my head canon. <laughs> Hi, so like, first of all, you're super awesome, and I love you, and you're great. And now this is a super dumb question. Oh, I love dumb questions. <laughs> Can I give a dumb answer? Yeah. <laughs> but Pidge is like more or less a meme work, so yes. what's, her what's her favorite meme? <laughs> is this a pigeon? <laughs> <laughs> Someone did cosplay that, I was so excited! Hi! Hi! Um, <laughs> oh, like, I promised my best friend I wouldn't cry. Okay. <laughs> um, so, what would you say the biggest similarities and differences are between you and Pidge? Pidge is way smarter than I am, way better at mathematics. Um, yeah, Pidge has got a bigger brain. <laughs> and I think that's, yeah, I think that's the biggest difference is, is, is brain capacity. She far exceeds me. <laughs> it's not even a competition. <laughs> um, I, do, I do okay for like the earthbound version, but no, I'm okay. <laughs> Um, and our biggest similarity is probably the sassy me. <laughs> I'm a sassy little greenie. Um, can I have a hug, please? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Assuming I don't trip and die Hi, so two things. One, I promised my friend who couldn't come today that I would show you a picture of her and tell you, you that she loves you. Oh. <laughs> so pretty. You never know. <laughs> also, your rolling eye zombie was awesome. Thank you. And I want to know, do you think you would make an awesome zombie? Oh, it would make a rad zombie. <laughs> Thank you. Also, can I have a hug? Just her face. <laughs> Hello, Hi. welcome. Uh, you've got a, a rich portfolio, you've done everything, and to the best of my knowledge, you're not an actual space explorer. Uh, just play one on TV. I am right about that, right? For now. Oh. <laughs> so, well, I guess you make the foremost expert in this room, so. If cavemen and astronauts got into a fight, who would win? Who says they haven't? <laughs> I like that question. Um, it's like brute force versus um, intellect and cunning. And, and it brings me back to all these giant superhero clashes throughout the ages, and I love that. Um, I'm going to have to go with the astronaut, just because they, they know how to evade 
and, and, and do strategic attacks versus just brute force and, and running into battle. Um, the, the astronauts aren't exactly weak either. They go through a lot of training, so it's like not only do they have skill on their side, but they've also got the strength. So just a little bit unfair. Okay. I'm just going to disagree with you there. Okay. I, love, I love the question. And I want to have a debate with you about this. Okay. That's another time. Game on. <laughs>
Um, least favorite. Anyone where Lance gets his full name. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. If you like my shirt, it's from We Merge Apparel on Yeah. Ah, I'm so nervous. Um, first of all, I love you. <laughs> um, so much that I was going through Netflix and I saw you on screen. That I binged it. Yeah. And first of all, I love how it basically starts off with uh, Audrey, Audrey, mm -hmm. Audrey, making out with another girl. Right. Um, <laughs> And um, basically, um, how do you think Paige would cope with that kind of um, serial killer or oh. she was? Oh. She would. She would Batman this. She would be better than that. <laughs> sorry, John. I'm sorry, Scream. But Paige would beat Noah every day. Like she would have it figured out in 30 minutes. She would just be like, no. It's uh, are you kidding? Just go arrest him. I can, I can accumulate evidence. I can hack this hacker. Like that's this. This poses no problem for me. It would be way too easy for her. Um, also, I have like two drawings for you. Yeah. Uh... Whoa! Okay. You guys are missing out. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of the representation that you've ever been involved in the show. 
And uh, my question, how do you think Paige is going to move forward in the next season for, like, with her family? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta keep my job. <laughs> so that we actually we get to see our paladins interacting with the world a little bit more, which is going to be really exciting. I'm I'm really excited for everybody to see kind of what exactly what your question is is how everybody interacts with their families and with each other and with this new world and how it's evolved. So it's it's going to be really unique and really special. Thank you so much. Good pleasure. just got into Voltron and like I binged it all in like four days and I love it. It's really my favorite character. And I love the fact that you're so inclusive with the fans. But my question is as like a voice actor, what's something that um how do you feel whenever you like portray the character in sad moments and like emotional moments? Ooh. It hurts. Um, something that's really interesting about voice acting is when you're on camera it has to look and sound a certain way because realistic. Um, but when you're voice acting, it's so different. It's it's all about the sound. And so something that you would never do on live action camera, you you, you do in the booth. Um, and I don't exactly know how to how to put it into words, but it's like when you start from the physicality and, and the over the top aspect, it almost brings you the emotion even heavier. Which is a weird thing. So like when you get back to that episode, reunion, that that guttural cry is just like visceral and, and it felt like therapy when I walked out of the booth. It was like I walked out going, wow, I did that. <laughs> like, whew, oh man, okay, you know? I hope that answered the question. <laughs> Again. Um, I have two questions, and one of them was, if you could go be on any other Netflix show, what would it be and why? Hmm, if I could be on any other Netflix show, what would it be and why? I have to choose one. <laughs> um, one day at a time, because yeah. I think it's, I think, first of all, being on a sitcom would be fun. But more importantly than that, I think it's a really important show, and I think that everything that they tackle, they tackle really beautifully with a great mix of, of brown and emotion and humor, and I would be honored to be on that show. And my second one was, Pigeon, you got to hang out for a day. What kind of music do you think you listen to? Hmm, I like that. Uh, a lot of techno. Um, <laughs> Pitch has a lot of different playlists. Pitch bases their playlists on moods, rather than like particular songs or genres or anything. So um, depends on the mood of the day. I guess like probably her video game playlist or maybe um, maybe her like just have a bomb day type of playlist. <laughs> and also I love your hair and you were my inspiration for cutting off her teeth. Yeah. 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 yeah! High five. Yeah. And also can I have a hug? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair looks awesome, by the way. You are so cool. <laughs> um, so, first of all, me, my sister, and my dad have all watched Voltron, and I really like it. Thank you. And my question is, what would you be like? What would it be like if Voltron joined the team? If Lotor joined the team? Pitch would be very, very mad. Because <laughs> Pitch from the very start was like, why are we working with him? We should not be working with him. So she would have been very upset that nobody listened to her. Because she's always right. <laughs> I like your question. Can I also get a hug? Oh, I'm Hi! Hi! Um, just so 
you know I rehearsed this about 50 times in my head. Aww. <laughs> um, I have two questions. One, what's your favorite character beside Paige? Oh man, that's so hard. Oh, <laughs> 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 um, but for me, I'm probably Laura. But also call Connector. Also call Connector. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Go be great. Also, I'm sorry for making you do this again, but can I have a hug? I apologize for that. Hugs are there. Like I have softball catcher keys. Um, um, what, um, why is your fav um, favorite ship? What's my favorite ship? Um, I, I was about to say I really like the Atlas, but those new fighter jets that they made, <laughs> like the new generation of pilots, those are really good. Cool. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, may I have a hug? Absolutely. <laughs> Hi. 
Um, I just wanted to say that um, it's an honor to meet you, and you're one of my favorite paladins in Hotron. Thank you. My question is, I'm going to uh, make this a little more specific. What is your favorite episode in season seven? My favorite part of that question. First of all, it's an honor to meet you too. Um, <laughs> and my favorite episode in season seven. Oh, oh, I can't choose between um, back home, uh, whichever the title is for that back home one or two. Um, probably the second one, um, because or, or whichever one where you really get to see Colleen Holt save Earth. Yeah. Because that, first of all, that moment where she's like, he's the only family I have left, you will get me that clearance, is just the most mama bear thing I've ever seen. Um, but definitely the second one of the, the Back on Earth episodes is, is gut-wrenching to me, because you really get to see and feel what, they, what they've been through. Can I also get a hug? Absolutely. And a hug. And while they're hugging, I have to be the bear of bad news and say that this is our last question. Way to slide in, Spider-Man. <laughs> you <all the> mix. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, I want to say that you and Pidge are the reasons that I love this show. And uh, my question is, who do you think Pidge's favorite Marvel character would be? Oh! oh favorite Marvel character. Oh, God. What's your name? 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 Yeah, the, Iron Heart. Oh, yes! yes. For sure, Iron Heart. And I know you've done it a million times. Or Shuri. Yes. Iron Heart or Shuri? Like, it's in the movie verse or in the comic verse? It's Shuri in the movie verse and Iron Heart. Okay, everybody. Thank you for watching the Convention Junkies coverage of Fan Expo Canada 2018. Join the conversation below with a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. If you would like to help us with future projects, please visit our Patreon page.